A couple nights back, I did a live stream where I was talking about the go A couple nights back, I did a live stream where I was talking about the Oscars, and I blew through that sucker in like 27 minutes. The live stream ended up going over two and a half hours long, because my wife came in the side door and said, Hey, Adam, why don't you do some movie trivia with people? And I, I said, All right, I'll, I'll dance. I'm not the greatest with movie trivia, but I'll jump in. I'll play, I'll play ball. And so we did this for over two hours. And the comments were kind of coming back and forth. I, she'd read off a question. I'd leave a few seconds before I answered so that the people watching had time to respond as well, see if they could beat me. It was a great time. And it kind of spurred some ideas where I'd like to make one of my live streams of the two I do each week into a movie trivia of sorts where off camera I'm getting questions fed or maybe there's a like an interactive game I can play with the community or bring some people on for some one-on-ones. I have a lot of ideas uh, because this was such a fun time. So that said, if you missed the live stream and you're kind of interested in seeing how it went down, I'm going to play it now for its entirety after the, uh, of course, after the award stuff. So it's going to go right into the, the question answer thing. Let me know your thoughts. Please leave a comment. This will be a fun thing to maybe throw on in the background while you're painting your house or uh, perhaps you're huddled next to a fire because it's negative 20 degrees where you're at. Or maybe you're just taking a long drive and you're like, hey, what could I do to pass the time? Oh, Adam's doing a little movie trivia. I'm good at movie trivia. Let me see if I can keep up with them. All right. That's all I got to say. Thanks for watching. And please try to join one of the live streams. I do them multiple times a week. Although the beginning of this year has been very rocky because of trips that were planned and other things getting in the way, like losing power during one of them. Actually, two of them got canceled because of losing power because of storms. But that said, the live streams typically are Tuesday nights at 9.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time and also Friday nights Eastern Standard Time. Those are going to be a little herky-jerky the next couple weeks, but I will try to do them. And if I can't, there'll be something at least there, whether it's a pre-recorded video or whatnot, just so you can kind of get your beak wet with it. All right, that's all. Enjoy the video. It was a lot of fun. Let me know, and hopefully I see you at a live stream sometime. Man, we have a really special thing going on here. My wife is going to read off trivia questions from a movie thing we just got from my mom, who was just in town. You need to turn off your phone, though, because I can hear myself talking through your phone. <laughs> we have, it's 46 minutes into this live stream. This is where we've devolved into. I'm going to give this a few minutes. We'll see how it goes. Hey, it's been a lot of games. You guys can, you can see how good and bad my trivia is. If Matthew, if Matt Sclero is in the audience. Let's see if the audience. If, if Matt Sclero is in the audience, he's going to shake his head because he's played some movie trivia with me. And I think he was honestly disappointed. He came over here and we played a few movie trivia games and he was doing very well. And I think I was doing meh, OK, but I, I felt like as the night progressed, he just kind of looked sickly like, wow, I used to think this guy was kind of impressive and cool. But now now I don't think anything of him. And that's what happens. Don't meet your heroes. OK, they have to beat you. Okay, so you're supposed to try to beat me before I say the name. And, of course, there's a delay, so I get advantage, <laughs> which I need. All right, read something. Okay. Who played Buffy in the TV show Buffy the Vampire Slayer? Who played Buffy in the TV show Buffy the Vampire Slayer? That's Sarah Michelle Geller. Yep. Okay. What singing group does Becca join in Pitch Perfect? What singing group does Becca join in Pitch Perfect? I'm repeating it because I don't know if you can hear her with where my mic is. That would be the Bellas. Can they hear me? I don't know. The Bellas. Can you hear my wife when she reads these off or do I need to repeat it? Well, wait a minute. Is it the Bellas? Yeah. The Bellas. Okay. It's the Bellas. I think that's the shortened they can name. Hear me. Okay. Hi. But yes, what? Yes, they can hear me. Oh, you did. What did you say? Okay. How well, many dragons did Daenerys Targaryen originally have in the TV series Game of Thrones? Three. Yep. But they have a delay. <laughs> yeah, I know they have a delay. I don't care. Like, sometimes I'm not going to know it, and then they can jump in and, and, and steal it. Okay. Who played the genie in the 1992 film Aladdin? Uh, Robin Williams. Yep. He's a really, really tough 
In which 90s TV show would you find the characters hanging out in a cafe called The Max? Say by the Bell. In what Disney movie did Jamie Lee Curtis and Lindsay Lohan star as mother and daughter who switched Freaky bodies? Friday. King Bob, Gretchen, and Spinelli were all characters from which TV show? Wait, what was that? King Bob, Gretchen, and Spinelli were all characters from which TV show? Gretchen and Spinelli. Someone's going to get this one on me because I... King Bob, Gretchen, and Spinelli. Is this a Nickelodeon show? Uh, I don't know. We're all characters from which TV show? You should know this. Recess, says Bubba. Yep. Recess. Bubba got it. Okay, Bubba got it with Recess. He's probably Googling it. He probably did. Actually, he probably knows that one. Someone said Freaks and Geeks, but that's not correct. It's Recess. It's Recess. All right. Name Holly Gal Galitely's cat in Breakfast at Tiffany's. I don't fucking know the cat's name in Breakfast at Tiffany's. Uh, <laughs> Breakfast? <laughs> Tiffany? Nope. Skibbles? No. Let the audience guess. Well, they can guess. I'm not. I'm not talking over them. Uh, giblets? No. Princess? No. Think catnip. Uh, catnip. catnip. Uh, cat. Kitty cat. Peanuts. Cat. Cat. Uh, meow meow. It's just the, the cat's name is Cat? Yeah. Oh, my God. It's like a trip question. Yep. Okay. Who shot Mr. Burns in The Simpsons? Lisa. No. Oh, no, I'm sorry. Maggie Simpson. You lost. No, no. You lost. I just had a stumble. It's Maggie. In what movie did Michael Sarah play Ellen Page's love interest? Juno. Yep. What is the name of the Jughead Joneses gang in the TV series Riverdale? <sighs> God, it's like some teen crap. Uh, Jughead's gang in Riverdale. Yeah, what is the name of Jughead Jones's gang in the TV series Riverdale? Uh, I, I don't watch Riverdale. I didn't watch that trash. I don't know the the, the Falcons, the Hawks, the Cobras, the think, the um, Bayside. I think Harry Potter, Ravenclaw? Nope. Hufflepuff? Warmer, getting warmer. Warmer to what? Hufflepuff? To one of the... Stampers? Huh? Someone said Stompers? No. Oh, Bubba said Stompers. He's wrong. Uh, Gryffindor? Nope. Dex? Slytherin? Okay, what are they also called? Death Eaters? South Side Serpents. Well, okay, what? <laughs> How the frick were you speaking? Okay. <laughs> South Side Serpents. Nobody knows that. Which band plays at Lillian's wedding in Bridesmaids? Oh, God, you asked me this. Oh, I remember this question. Ooh, don't tell them. I remember this question. Which band? Oh, plays I know. At I know. It's, it's a female duo. Uh, it's like, it's not Stevie Nicks, but it's like a two name thing, right? Not Foo Fighters. No, it's not. It's a, it's a girl group. Yeah, I know. I'm, but I'm responding to the chat. Rob K. It's a, it's a female group like Heart or something, or like Roxanne. But it's, it's two names. Uh -huh. It's two names. But they're boy names. They are. Yep, it's boy names. So it's like Simon and Garfunkel, but not them. Yes. Oh my God, I don't. Not Taylor Swift. <laughs> Taylor Swift. <laughs> Lillian's wedding and bridesmaid. Nobody knows the name of the Wilson dumb Phillips. Wilson Phillips. Oh my god. In which TV show do the characters ride around in a van called the Mystery Machine? Scooby Doo? Yep. Wow. Which sport That's does Poppy become captain of in Wild Child. What the fuck? Mini what? Sport. In which sport does Poppy become captain of in Wild Child? I don't know. Lacrosse. Yep. <laughs> it's lacrosse. <Yeah. laughs> okay. What is Barney and Betty's surname in the TV series The Flintstones? Rubble. Yep. Yep. Which of the following Disney films was not released in the 90s? Okay. Toy Story, 
Lilo and Stitch or Aladdin? Toy Story. No. It was not released in the 90s? It's Lilo and Stitch. That came out after Toy Story? I'm just reading the card. Toy I was I was leaning towards I was leaning towards Lilo Jeff and Stitch. Got it, and so did David. Ugh, I was leaning towards that, but I Bob I got it. okay. I thought maybe the 3D was out and that was it. You're wrong. I know Princess and the Frog was after, but okay, go on. Okay, which TV show was set at the Sterling Cooper Advertising Agency? Mad Men. Yep. You know, Lilo and Stitch is a great movie. I am so sad they're redoing that one, too, as a live action. Go on. I know. The best exotic Marigold Hotel is set in which country? The best exotic Mary Marigold Hotel is set in which country? Um, Russia? Europe? Mama got it. India. <laughs> okay. Mama got it. <laughs> David got it. Yeah, okay. Yeah, India. All right, I got it. For all of you, you should know it. Which TV series featuring Kramer, Jerry, Joel, Seinfeld? Okay. Name Hugh Grant's character in Bridget Jones's diary. Gross. His character? Yep. Jones. I don't know. Gunther. Let's see if the fans know. Name Hugh Grant's character in Bridget Jones's diary. Hugh. No. Jonathan. No. Jogathan. No. Mark. No. Mark. No. You're all wrong. I'm trying to think of British names. No. Everybody's wrong. Lester. Oh my God. Google it. Martin. No. Garrett. No. James. Oh my gosh. Jameson. No. Lee Harvey Oswald. <laughs> Oswald Cobblepot. Daniel Cleaver. Daniel Cleaver. Okay. Leave it, Leave it to Cleaver. Leave it to Cleaver. Okay. National Geographic's 2017 TV show, Genius, was a biopic of which scientific figure? That was like the worst sentence I've ever heard anyone read ever. Can you say that one more time? Okay. National Geographic's 2017 TV show called Genius was uh, a biopic of which scientific a biopic. Figure? A biopic. Oh, sorry. A biopic. I've never heard of bio biopic. Biopic. Isn't it biopic? No. Who says biopic? Biopic. It's not biopic. Einstein. Well, I'm hung we up on the words, okay? Say it's biopic. It's no. Who said, what did you say? It's biopic. No one says biopic. Everybody says that. I say biopic. David says biopic. He hyphenated it so that you would understand. Really? Yeah. Biopic? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Huh. In Bad Teacher, what subject does Cameron Diaz's character teach? Cameron Diaz, not Diaz. In Bad yes. Teacher, what subject does camera camera, <laughs> camera? Does Cameron Diaz's character teach? <laughs> Bionicle says Bubba. Shut up. <laughs> Everybody says biopic. It's not math. It's English. It. It's, it's English. English. Yeah, I know. David I knew it was it. I knew it was English. Well, you didn't get it. Well, I am hung up now on words. David won. No, no, no. I said Eng uh, English was in my head. You said which superhero was played by Linda Carter in the TV show? Wonder Woman. Same name. One, Wonder Woman. WW. Everybody knows that. What sort of animal was the title character of the movie Babe? A pig. He was a pig in the city in the sequel. They're trying to catch up to us. Wait a minute. Just realized I don't have my computer plugged in for charging purposes. Uh oh. That's okay. I'm at 12%. We'll 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 go a few more minutes and then we'll wrap it up anyways. Okay. All right. Which award-winning actress plays the narrator in the 2020 Netflix original series Bridgerton? Um, trying to think of British actresses that are Helen Mirren? No. Award-winning actress. Yeah, Helen Mirren is an award-winning award actress. Winning. She is award-winning. Not 
I, Helen Mirren is an actress. I'm telling the chat. They know. Um, uh, freaking a British. Oh yeah, yeah. It's not Angela Lansbury. Uh, who is that dumb bitch from Princess from Princess Diaries? The Queen in Princess it's Diaries. From original series Bridgerton. Yeah, I know, but she oh, also the actress is the Queen. Julie Andrews. Yeah, Julie oh, Julie Andrews. Uh, Andrews, yes, she's the she's the queen in the Princess Diary. Right, but we're talking about Bridgerton, and she's the Sound Bridget, of Music. Robbie got it. Okay, whatever. Robbie two one four got it. Whatever. Emma Watson. <laughs> <laughs> Bella Thorne, shut up. <laughs> what was the first Wallace and Gromit movie to be classed as a full length feature movie? Chicken Run. No. no, that's not Wallace and Gromit. Uh, it's the scary one, right? It's like the Wallace and Gromit haunting something or another. I don't know Wallace and Gromit. It's something about scary pumpkin Halloween okay, time. Curse of the Were Rabbit. See, I knew it was scary related. I'm counting that. Nope, David got it. I'm, okay. David helped me, but I I got him there. I, I let him there. Go get this. I've never heard of this. Okay. Or wait, I know this. Oh, I know this. You won't. What is the name of the school Blair and Serena attend at the start of Gossip Girl? What? What? How would I possibly <laughs> know that? Said he gets three points. <laughs> three points to Gryffindor. Okay. I don't um, know the stupid school in Gossip, Gossip Girl. What's the name of the school? In I could Google it, but that's well, cheating. They're googling. Yeah. Well. Do they know? I'm trying. I'm gonna plug my computer in because it's on its last breath. It's Bayside, high. High. <laughs> <laughs> the Max. Is this not New York High? Hey, nobody knows okay, shitty it's Gossip it's Girl. Billboard School for Girls. Wow, great! It's not even a movie question. Which 2001 movie sees an undercover police officer try to infiltrate the world of LA street racer Dominic Toretto? <laughs> <laughs> uh, the same man that lives life a quarter mile at a time. Uh, that's uh, Fast and the Furious. Oh my gosh. Somebody wants to be my friend. All right. I'll totally be your friend. I think we're right and they're all wrong. Well, no, she said, I thought it was biopic until a few years ago. So no, right. Shan, uh, Shan, Shane or Shan, Shan Lee is already admitting that they were wrong. Oh, Shan Lee, we don't admit when we're wrong. We're yeah. Right. yeah. Who played Dr. Douglas Ross in ER from 1994 to 1999? Is that McDreamy uh, Mc, oh, McDreamy or whatever? No, ER. 1994 to 1999. Uh, it's not Patrick Dempsey. Oh, Adam. Is that the wrong show? Oh, that's Grey's Anatomy. Is it uh, George it's Clooney? Not even Is it George Clooney? It's not even close. Is it George? Yes, Rob Kinney got it. George Clooney. I said George Clooney. I didn't hear you say it. It's only five times. Did you? Yes. I'm counting that one. Well, you're on my left side. <laughs> Ian, <laughs> Mc Ian McKellen. <laughs> Which actress played the lead role in the film Clueless? Alicia Silverstone. Yes. Oh, Bubba. See? Okay. Which cartoon cat made his first appearance Garfield. in 1978? Garfield. Who played Batman? <laughs> Was that right? Yeah. <laughs> Who played Batman in Christopher Nolan's The Dark Knight movie? Christian movie? Bale. Where is she? Where's Rachel? Swear to me! Chris Pratt. <laughs> yeah, because Chris Pratt's the voice of Garfield now. Yeah, but we said 1978. I know, but he's being relevant. Was Chris Pratt even born then? How old is Chris Pratt? Is he our age? He's around our age. I would guess he's right around our age. He's probably a couple years older than us. That is the best. A thousand Batman. years old. I like the Christian Bale Batman. I do not like... Uh, what's the one with Matt Damon's best friend? Ben Affleck? Yeah. Yeah, no, no. I don't no. like that one. Nobody, no. 
No. Oh, I'm Michael Keaton. I like the Michael Keaton. Yeah, everybody likes Keaton. He's so good. Everybody likes Keaton. Okay. Which TV show is centered on the owners of Patty's Pub? Is that SpongeBob SquarePants? Oh, oh, Patty's, God. Patty's. Oh my God! Always yes. sunny, in, always sunny in Philadelphia. So I was, <laughs> I was thinking Patty like, oh I was thinking like Burger Patty. I'm so <laughs> I got there right after. Calm down. I guessed oh. wrong. I guessed the guy fixed it. Uh, I have a lot of the Always Sunny in Philadelphia DVDs too. I have an Always Sunny oh. DVD right over here. No, you can't break about that. Yeah. I don't even know. Well, I couldn't remember Marie's name That's on. So I couldn't bad. remember Marie's name either on. I have a bunch of these shows. I love Always Sunny so much that I couldn't remember that the Patty's Pub was from it. Okay, keep going. Okay. The garbage. <laughs> yeah, I know. It's so good. Okay. What is the name of the third movie in the Bad Boys franchise? Oh, God. Bad Boys for Life? Yeah. They're making a fourth one. Are they? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I knew that. I'm coming to Netflix, right? Bubba took my my patty screw up personal. Of course he did. Mm -hmm. Okay. Who played the lead role in Sabrina the Teenage Witch? I know this. I do. This is Adam Does Movies, not Adam Does Teeny Bopper Shitty Shows from the 90s. It's Clarissa. Nope. Melissa Joan Hart. There you go. I just was I was thinking Flockhart, Clarissa, <laughs> Melissa Joan Hart. Which actress won an Academy Award for her role in Girl Interrupted? Angelina Jolie. Yeah. Yeah. I forget she's in that. It was between her and Winona Ryder. Winona Ryder. Yeah. That's a good movie. That is a good movie. Um, what was the subtitle of the fourth series of American Horror Story? <laughs> what the fuck? The fourth season of American Horror Story. These are all TV show questions now. What is this trivia I know. game? So it's a TV and movies. Oh, TV and movies, but TVs before movies. Your mom might say this. Okay. Um, is it Coven? No. Is it horror show, freak show? Yes. Is it freak show? Yep. Okay. So sad that I know some of this stuff. Um, movie question. Who starred as the title character in Mary Poppins Returns? Emily Blunt. Yeesh. Didn't see that. Who starred alongside Jim Carrey in The Mask? Uh, oh my God. We just talked about her a second ago. You forgot how to say her name. Oh my God. Cameron Diaz. Yeesh. In her prime, by the way. Oh, I love this one. Okay. We're going to let them say this too, okay? So give them a second. In Transformers, who is the leader of the Autobots? <laughs> Optimus Prime. Yep. The Prime is now. What's that mean? Cameron Diaz. Oh. It's not. Will Smith plays Agent J in Men in Black. Who plays Agent K? <laughs> Uh, that would be, I'm <laughs> forgetting his name. <laughs> oh my God. Hey, Slick. Tommy Lee Jones. Yeah. It took me a second. I haven't seen Tommy Lee Jones in a while. Okay. Members of the Midnight Society tell spooky stories around the campfire in which TV anthology series? Are you afraid of the dark? Yeah, I beat you. In On Snick. Remember Snick? Nick at night? They need to bring that back. Uh, I think they are. I heard they were going to bring back Are You Afraid of the Dark? And by the way, Connor and I, shout out to the new Goosebumps series. People need to watch that. It's good. Okay. Remember? Watch the new Goosebumps show. I guess it's good. It is good. I, I was very impressed. Okay. Which character was the leader in the A-Team TV series? Uh, I, I don't know. Handsome or... A-Team TV series. Yeah, they all have little call sign names. Sugar, sugar Balls or nope. The Face. Nope. Uh, the Sergeant Slaughter. Nope. 
I don't know. Hannibal. Hannibal. Yeah, Mr. T is not the leader. I knew that. Oh, wait, is Mr. T Hannibal? I always just called him Mr. T. The card says Hannibal. I well, I know, but it, Mr. T is not Mr. T in the show, I don't think. he's He might be Hannibal. Okay, whatever. The card says Hannibal, going. no Mr. T. <sighs> okay. Shallow is a song from which 2018 musical movie? A Star is Born. There's like four versions of that movie. Which one's your favorite? Uh, I like that one. Which one? The new one with Lady Gaga and Bradley Cooper. That one was good. Yeah. I want to see the one with, what's her name in it, though? The music girl. Barbara Streisand? Yeah. I haven't seen that. Yeah. Okay. Which TV show is based on a woman's memoir of her time in prison? Memoirs of a Geisha? No. <laughs> <laughs> the Diary of Anne Frank. <laughs> oh my gosh, no. <laughs> what? What is the question? Which TV show? Oh, it's a TV show. What is this? Huh? Why don't you just skip to the movie ones? Someone else said Anne Frank. <laughs> just skip to the... Ah, wrong about it. Orange is the New Black. Oh, that's right. I, knew they were gonna I saw that, that show. That went to shit after like two seasons. We tried. Yeah. yeah. Oh, really? Hi, Kevin. Kevin's... Checking in from uh, Twitch. Oh, really? Yeah. Um, what year does Marty McFly travel to in Back in the Future Part 2? Uh, 2000... Uh, fuck. 2004? No. Higher? <laughs> not, no. Not 1953, not 1955. Bubba got it. 2015. Oh, come on. He looked that up. There's no way he knew that. There's no way he knew that. Robbie and Rob K probably knew that, but Bubba did not know that. Go on. David, David knew it, I'm sure. <laughs> okay. What are the names of the three Simpsons children in the symptom Simpsons from <laughs> youngest to oldest? Okay, Maggie, Bart, Lisa. Oh, Maggie, wrong. Lisa, Bart. Fuck. <laughs> Paris. Oh, huh. Shanley was agreeing with me. Kevin, I didn't watch the I didn't watch the Oscars, so I don't actually know how, how the host did. No, it would be 1994. Um, Robbie, it says the answer is 2015, part two, Back to the Future, part two, 2015. How many more of these are there? Okay. Will Farrell and Christina Applegate doesn't answer. Who's reader in which comedy of 2004? Wait, say that again. Will Farrell and Christina Applegate play oh. news readers in which comedy of 2004? Oh, Anchorman. Yep. The Legend of Ron Burgundy. Yep. Oh, um, which children's TV show featured the characters Buttercup, Blossom, and Bubbles? Powerpuff Girls. Yep. These are some real hard-hitting questions. Eye of the Tiger was the theme song for which movie? Rocky Three. Yes. <laughs> a little bit of a trick question. Star Lord is a superhero who features in which movie series? Guardians of the Galaxy. Which superhero did Tom Welling play in Smallville? Uh, is Tom Welling Superman? Clark Kent? Yep. Really? God, I didn't watch that shit. I know. Robbie got it. Well, I got it. I said it. Robbie got it before you. I mean, really, he's Clark. I, if I remember right, he's never really Superman in the show. But go on. Okay. Which 1980 movie did Dolly Parton star in? Nine to five. Sing? Nine to five. Oh, no. You need to sing it now. Working nine to five. Sometimes going to learn a new. Okay. okay. In Moulin Rouge, which pop star plays the role of the Green Fairy? Yeah, let's pretend I watched Moulin Rouge and no. Hang on, let me. What pop star? Yeah. In Moulin Rouge. Okay. Pop star Moulin well, Christina Rouge. Aguilera's in that. Green Fairy. Christina Aguilera? No. 
uh, Kim, no. Lil, Lil Kim? No. Rihanna? No. Moulin Rouge. Moulin Rouge, pop star, plays the role of the green fairy. Is it a female? Yes. I thought I said all the ones that were in. Uh, who's left? Snoop Dogg. Madonna, no. No. Nope. Goldberg. <laughs> She's not a pop star. Uh, I'm spinning the scissors. I should probably not do that. Uh, oh my god, you're gonna hit my head. <laughs> Dolly Parton. It's Kylie Minogue. Kylie Minogue? What? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Look. That can't be how you say the name, though. Look, look I don't care. All right, nobody, you nobody knew that. That's not a person. That's not even a person. You want your glasses? How many more of these are there? hundred. What do you want me to say? There's a hundred more? No, we're not ask doing... Your, ask the people how, if they want to keep playing. Um, here's what we're going to do. We're going to do f uh, we're gonna do five more questions unless someone super chats that they want me to go longer. Otherwise, I, I think I'm about done with this. <laughs> These questions are for babies mostly. All right, five more. Otherwise, we're done. It, five more unless a super chat comes in. It's on the line at this oh, point. Whoa. It's on the line. Let me find some good ones. Who played the British Prime Minister in Love Actually? I beat you to this. Hugh Grant. Yes. Okay. You remember because I, I remember. I remember that question. Because I won. All right. Um, that one's too easy. Ooh. In which city is Lost in Translation set? Japan. No. Japan. No. City, honey. I don't know. I don't know the diff. I don't know the difference. Hong Kong. <laughs> no. It's in Japan, though, right? Well, you're people. Tokyo, Rob. Tokyo. <laughs> hey, you got a super chat. I know. I saw. And now I have David Schilliker or Schlacker with with what looks to be a stitch. Um, stuffed animal as his profile photo it says 20 more for two dollars. That's what I'm worth, and this is Canadian money, so that's like a dollar, dollar fifty, and then go fuck myself. And then YouTube takes 40 percent, so it's really like it's really like 50 cents for 20 more. All right, we're gonna do 20 more. Thank you, Dave. 18. This is what I'm worth now. 19, 20. Okay, I 20 more. 20. 40 year old guy on YouTube. Yeah, he said he had to be fast. That's fine. <laughs> it's fine, David. You're doing well. Okay. Thank you. Which heist movie featured Sandra Bullock, Kate Blanchett, and Rihanna? Oceans 8. Yes. Pulled that out of my ass. Okay. Um, oh, you got another one. It's awesome to see. <laughs> David, oh, no. shot out of a cannon, guilted him into another $10. I had to be fast. Here's some more. Thank you, David. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Give him another 10 for that. 10 more cards. Uh-oh. Okay. So you got another one in there, though. No, I don't. Yes, you do. A blue one. That was the one. Oh. Batter Bob. Batter oh, Batter Bob. Bobcat for $2. It's awesome to see a family of movie lovers. All right. Throw another five on top of that. So we'll do 35 more. Are there enough cards in there? Nine, oh, yeah. Okay. Ten. And now one more. Five more. One. Five more. Because his is American $2, which is for some reason worth less cards than the Canadian. Five. Okay. Beautiful. All right. Ready, guys? Oh, okay. The T. Oh, we won't do that. Who wrote the famous Rocky boxing films? Sylvester Stallone. Yes. Give them a chance to answer, too. What? Well <laughs> <laughs> what? Why would I give them a chance to answer? Because you're faster. There's a lab. Is there like a five second delay, would yeah, you say? There is. All right. I will do, I will wait five seconds before I answer. That's okay. Unfair. Five seconds. Okay, everybody. In five seconds. In high school musical, what song do Gabriella and Troy sing for their callback audition? Really? You, you guys, movie. you guys it's get all the, you guys get all the time you want because I have no idea. In High School Musical, what song do Gabriella and Troy sing for their callback audition? 
I, I don't know. We belong together. Love is an open door. It's two words. Um, <laughs> Master of Puppets. Okay. Enter yeah. Sandman. Oh. Uh, it's Metallica. Oh, I'm okay. never going to give you up. Something oh, by Queen. No. We will rock you. Okay, no one's getting No, because no one knows freaking High School Musical the movie. These are... Oh. These are, free. these are people of high taste. Breaking, Breaking free. free? I okay. spread my legs and learn how to fly. That's Break Away, Kelly Clarkson. <laughs> Kelly Clarkson? I don't know, Breaking Free? Who is that? I don't know. Well, I don't know, but... Um, you know music, honey. I don't know that shit. Keep going. It's probably okay. a, an original. Remember, five second delay. In Mamma Mia, how many possible fathers does Sophie have? One Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi, oh, four gosh. Mississippi, five <laughs> Mississippi. I'm going with three. Yep. David would have just got it. Ooh. Okay, Adam, five seconds. In the Matrix, what color pill does Neil take? One Mississippi. Four Mississippi, five Mississippi. Red. Yes. Ooh, they are not typing fast enough. Bubba says that I'm going too long, but they also have to type out the answer. Yeah, I think five seconds is fair. And nobody's beat me to it yet, oh, so five okay. seems fair. Adam's winning. Uh-huh, uh-huh. In Deadpool, what is Ajax's real name? Oh, it's something stupid. Five seconds. Oh, it's like... You got your five seconds. It's like Thomas. Nope. It's close to that, though. I beat you on this one, too. Jonathan. No. Francis. Yes, Francis. David got it at Francis. All right, your chat is one and your one. No, I have two from the chat. I have, I have two the chat has one. Yeah, because they got the three and they got the red pill. Well, at the very beginning, you did pretty bad. They were in the lead. That's not true at all. Which movie was the song Take My Breath written for? Take, Take my voice. breath away. Dun, dun, dun. Dun, dun, dun. Dirty Dancing? No, Ghost. No. No. Top Gun, damn it. Yes. Oh my, did you really not know that? I didn't know. No. Well, I know now. Adam. Is Berlin who sings Take My Breath Away? Na 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 in the film Confessions of a Shopaholic, it's based on novels from which author? It's based on the hit novel. <laughs> Dr. Seuss. It's based on the hit novel Push by Sapphire. Should I tell you all? It's based on the Boxcar Children book series. Nobody knows. J.K. Rowling. <laughs> J.K. Rowling. What is it? Sophie Kinsella. Oh, okay. So Sophie bad. can Sophie who gives a shit out. Let's keep going. Um, we should do a live where I hide and you have to try to find me and we can show them how bad you are finding me. <laughs> how would we do that? <laughs> I have like the night vision. <laughs> okay, guys, we're gonna find my wife. I, I do appreciate the shout out that I'm a really good hider though. Yeah, you're welcome. Yeah, I say okay. nothing but nice things about you. I got twenty eight miles and on my road to Mordor. Okay. In what movie did Keanu Reeves play a federal agent called Johnny Utah? Five One seconds, Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi, four Mississippi, five Mississippi. Point, uh, point break. Yep. Oh, almost stumbled. Get it. Stumbled across the finish line. Oh, they were so slow. Where was Matt in this? That's not obviously watching, or he would have like spit out his freaking apple jacks and wrote it down quick. Agent Smith, what's up? Who starred as face in the as face F A C E in the twenty ten Bradley? Oh, A Team. Sorry. What? I was already answering it. I remember that one. Me 
You can't answer that. It's, Who starred? It's Bradley Cooper. Please. It's Bradley Cooper. What's the A team? Did I well, Matt, that? you didn't answer the question. Uh, the A team was came out like yeah, David 2000. Uh, I don't know, 2000. Is that the one with the puppets? No, that's Team America World Police. The A Team is based is the movie based on the old ass TV show with Mr. T. Did Bradley Cooper it? was in it in the new movie, did and I see it? no, you did not see okay. it. I didn't. I don't think I saw it. Okay, what creatures tried to dig an escape tunnel from the zoo using plastic spoons and popsicle sticks in Madagascar? Which crew did it? The the penguins. Oh, you didn't wait five seconds. I, I waited five seconds. When I asked you the question and stopped, it had been five seconds. Mm -hmm. David Schillacher um, got it. Penguins. No, David Schillacher said Madagascar. And then he said penguins. <laughs> okay. I got this one right away. Who directed the 1985 movie The Breakfast Club? One Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi, four Mississippi. Oh. John Mother Beepin' Hughes. Did you just take the scissors to your face? Uh-uh. Uh-uh. John Hughes. Matt's wondering what's happening right now. Matt, basically, Adam went way too fast during his Golden Globes. No, I didn't go way too fast. I perfectly paced the Golden no, Globes, and it I ended at the 27th. You could have talked a little bit like Stephen Ewan won up his Golden Globes. <sighs> He's from The Walking Dead. I don't care. I know, but you didn't. Passion into that because I wasn't passionate about it. Really? Matt, we went fast through the Golden Globe winners, and so now we're just doing some trivia. And I told people that I wasn't very good at trivia, but I'm absolutely dominating right now. <laughs> some people are saying I'm the best movie trivia person they've ever seen. A few people have said that in the chat. You Can might you might not be able to see talk it. Talk about when we played this with your mom and Mike, how I beat you, though. No, that's not true. Yes, it is. I won. Did you beat me in movie trivia? Yes. This is some disgusting slander right now, and I might not ever have you back on the show in the background ever again. <laughs> I'm Sheila. It's absolutely disgusting what's happening. Read more. How many more do we have left before oh a super God. chat well, needs to come in? A lot. So, okay. Matt, I gave you plenty of props. Maybe play back the tape. I said Matt came over. He was disgusted by my performance. He has lost all the little bit of respect he had for me. It's all there on film. Let's go. Okay. Okay. Which movie was released first? Dawn of the Planet of the Apes or Rise of the Planet of the Apes? Oh, Jesus, five seconds. This is child's play. See, three Mississippi, four Mississippi, oh, five Mississippi. Right. Rise of the Planet of the Apes was the first, followed by... Dawn of the Planet of the Apes, and then left with war. Okay. okay. He's watching this tomorrow. That's fine. fine. Do whatever. It's his life. In which Disney movie would you find the character Edna E. Mode? Woman Sui, Woman Sui, Woman Sui, Woman Sui. The Incredible, the Incredible, the Incredibles, the Incredibles, and it's Edna Mode, voiced by the director Brad Bird himself. What did L A L F stand for in the TV show of the same name? Just what? Yeah, let's do a question about some random ass TV show from the '80s with a puppet. Elf. What did alien the life form? You? Oh, Troy got it for you. No. Yeah, he did. No. He seriously did. Well, I was I was having banter. But you, uh, but I didn't look. I mean, I got it. It's a tie. We're calling that a tie. Which Welsh actor played a robot barman in the 2016 movie Passengers? I don't even know what a Welshman is. But you a person know from Welch? A person from the Welchlands? Is this an actor I know? Um, yeah. Which Welsh actor played a robot barman in the 2016 movie passengers we didn't see passengers welsh are fake english people <laughs> michael kane not michael kane but he's close close to michael kane no one's close to michael kane david got it michael sheen i don't know who's michael sheen i'm gonna look that person up you know who michael sheen is not by name really it's not it's not sticking out 
Oh, yeah, yeah. He's like not okay, whatever. Michael Sheen. Underworld, yeah. Okay. And Sleepless in Seattle, which building does Annie suggest that Sam meet her at the top of? Empire. Oh, sorry, I have to wait. Mm -hmm. It's the Empire State Building. Mm -hmm. It's the Space Needle. It's the Death Star. Sully said they're getting gypped in here. <laughs> Um, it was Empire. It's not <laughs> Rob said Space Needle. I already said Empire State Building. Ooh. In the Princess Diaries, Mia Thermopolis discovers she is heir to the throne of which kingdom? Why are you excited about the Princess? Ooh, the Princess Diaries. I have no idea what she's the throne heir, heir to the throne of. You should have watched it. <clears throat> Um, Neverland Ranch. Somebody should, Hogwarts really. <laughs> Julia Andrews Kingdom. <laughs> the Isle of Misfit Toys. Folgers Coffee Kingdom. Really? The Mushroom Kingdom. Boy, where's Jan? Kingdom of the Crystal Skull. Yeah. Estonia. It starts with a G. It uh, makes a J sound. I know a J sound. Je Gay world. Je Jebediah Smith. Gen, no Gen Z. Kingdom of the Planet of the Apes. Sully Genobia. got it. Gotham City. Jumanji. Genosha. Genuine. I like that. Genuine. What's that from again? Is he's a rapper? Yeah. Pony is his only song. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Pony. Let's do it. Honey, Riding Parson. He's, he's my Parson's, pony. Um, okay. Cousin, Parson. David said grapefruit. That might be. Okay, nobody knows or cares about it's Anne Genova. Hathaway. I already said Genova. Okay, it was Genova. Great. Okay, you're, none of y'all are going to get that. What's the kingdom in My Little Pony? The Friendship is Magic show that the ponies live in. That's... It's like Equestria, right? Is it Equestria? God, I know, I probably know too much about My Little Pony Friendship is Magic. My daughter used to love that show, and I did too. Genova, All right, keep going. The G, G, I, yeah, we, we're, we're past this shitty question. Can we move on from this? Okay. David, yes, that's right. Okay, who starred as Laura Croft in the 2018 remake of Tomb Raider? It's the chick from oh my god, it's she's in that robot movie. Alex Van Van something. Oh my god. Alicia Vikander. Troy Alicia Vikander. Troy got it. Troy got it. Robbie got it. Damn it, Troy McClure. Alicia Vikander. She was in the um Robbie got it. Lindsay, what was that movie we watched where she's a robot? It's really good. Alicia Vikander is the hot robot. And they're... No, not Megan. They, that's like a baby robot. No, the one where they're off isolated in the forest and she's she's like evil at the end. Was Scarlett Johansson? Oh my God. Ex Machina. Thank you, Kevin. Holy shit. Thank you, Kevin. It was Ex Machina. Great movie. I didn't see that. Yes, you did see that. We watched it together. Just go, please read the next card. What 18 oh what 1989 movie features the line, I'll have what she's having. When Harry met Sally. Yes. Billy Crystal. B Crystal for short. BC. Katrina and Bianca Stratford are characters in which film? Oh, God. I should know this, right? Yep. We watched in high school together. Katrina and Bianca Stratford. Oh, freaking A. I love this girl. It's shit. Katrina and Bianca Stratford are characters in which film? Is it a high school type movie? It's a high school movie made probably late 90s. Maybe 2000. Scary movie? Nope, not Damn scary. It. 
Not another teen movie? Nope. American Pie? No. Think she's an ugly Scream? girl. Scream? Rob Casey. Ugly girl turns pretty. She's all that. Ah, uh, Troy got it. She's all that. Oh, 10 Things They Hate About You. Oh, R.I.P. Pour one out for Heath Ledger. That was a hard one. That was a hard one. That's what she said. Oh, is this the guy in the show that we just been doing? Dev Patel. Dave Patel? No, Dev. D-E-V. Oh. Dev. Dev Patel and Frida Pito starred in which 2008 Danny Boyle movie? I don't have a clue. Why did you bring up Dune? Isn't Patel? Oh, did they say Patel and Dune? I, I don't have any idea. I don't know. Dave Patel and who Dev, else? Dev Dev Patel and Dev who else? Patel and Frida Pinto starred in which 2008 Danny Boyle movie? That lottery movie? Nope. Slumdog I Millionaire. Know. There it is. There it is. Good one, Troy. That was a good movie, too. What was the first animated movie to be nominated for an Academy Award for I, Best Picture? I know this one. By second rule. And then you it's Beauty it and the Award. Beast. Yes. Tale as old as time. Ski -dee 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 -dee. Which 1999 film was based on a novel by Chuck Palahniuk? It's, I don't think you said that name even remotely close, but it's Fight Club. Yep. First rule about Fight Club is we don't talk about Fight Club. Nope. The second rule, C rule number one. Ouch. One of my favorite movies of all time, by the way, Fight Club. You haven't showed it. Oh, because it's pretty adult for kids. I saw it in high school, so Olivia would be good now. We could show Olivia. She's 14. That's that's a good age. Well, she's not yet, but that's a good age. Okay. Who played the title role in the 2019 movie, Judy? I'm out. Who played the title role in the 2019 movie, Judy? Do I know this person? Oh, yeah. It's an actress? Oh, yeah. Uh, Kate Blanchett? No. Is it a good-looking actress? Um, depends on what, what year. Would I say she's a good-looking actress? Year. <laughs> How old is she Try in the movie? It. Renee Zellweger. <laughs> that is a yeah. That's a good response. Depends on the year. That's good. Pamela Anderson. Barbed wire. Barbed wire. Okay. Judy Garland. In which movie does Amy Adams star as a princess from Andalusia? Andalusia. Amy Adams. Enchanted. Yes. You got it right. Which movie starring Hilary Swank and Gerard Butler is based on a novel by Cecilia Ahern? Hilary Swank and Gerard Butler? Yep. I didn't even know they were in a movie together. Oh, yeah. Boys Don't Cry? No, it's real good. The, kar the next Karate Kid? Olympus has fallen. This movie's sad. <laughs> oh, Million Dollar Baby? No. Oh, well then I don't know. Hillary Swank, Swank and Gerard Butler. Have we it? seen this movie? Um, you probably haven't. It came out when we were in high school, and it's a sad movie. <laughs> Dark, yeah, Knight. Yeah. Dark Knight. Dark Knight Rises. Clear about it. <laughs> what is it? P.S. I Love You. I never seen that shit. Nobody's seen that. Nobody's seen that movie. Try, Try hasn't seen it. Dracula 2000. <laughs> Dracula dead and loving it. We should just play it to keep Bubba up all night. Yeah. How many Academy Awards did Titanic win? I'm going to say 11. Yes. It's 11? Yeah. Let's go. There's no way anybody else knew that. All of them. In which 2017 action adventure movie does Tom Cruise accidentally unearth the ancient tomb of an Egyptian princess? The mummy. Yep. I don't think I need to wait on some of these. So stupid. Jennifer Lawrence played Dominica 
Agoroba in which 2018 spy thriller? Red Sparrow. Yep. I celebrate Jennifer Lawrence's Jennifer, entire catalog. We've only got five left. Oh, can they super chat for more? If or, you want this. Are we out? They have to super chat. We Do we have more? Left. Do we yeah, have more than five in there? Yeah. Okay. Five left. If you'd like another bulk super chat. Uh, for, they have to say how many they want. So yeah, super chat want how many you want. I mean, let's not let's not get carried away and do two dollars for twenty. You know, two. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's like a panhandling out here on the internet. All right, go ahead. So five left, unless the super chat comes in. Okay. Name the first James Bond movie to be released in the eighties. I'm out. I don't first know. I don't know Bond James Bond movie, movie title in the eighties. In the 80s or the 90s? Oh, no. Lindsay, in the 80s or the oh, 90s? No. Lindsay, in the 80s or the 90s? 80s. Um, First James Bond movie to be released in the 80s. Um, oh, Matt says for your eyes only. Is yeah, that it? Got it. Okay. Uh, we got Super Chats came in out of a cannon. So we have 10 for Robbie for $4.99. Okay, hold on. That adds it a pile. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. $5 Canada money for 10 more from David. Oh, okay. He's he's counting the Canadian money the same as the American. Okay. That's fine. Six, seven, he can't help it. It's fine. Rob K, $5. More trivia, more trivia. Well, if 10. So Rob has 10? He's got five as well. So that's another 10. So we'll do 30 more. So the the... the the president has been set. You get ten for five dollars. Even silly Canadian Canada money gives you ten. Okay, so we got thirty more. Bubba's gonna be pulling an all nighter. Well, Kevin, you're on you're on Twitch, so you don't need to worry about it unless you're in both locations. What's Kevin? Who's Kevin? He's on Twitch asking a question. What's his question? How do you super chat? If you're on Twitch, you can't. But if you're a subscriber on Twitch, then you're already doing your part. It's bits. Oh, but I don't think bits come through. I don't think bits come through on uh, on my um, on my end of things. But go on. I guess Bubba, Bubba, why don't you can you can uh, let me know if he he bitted me or something. <laughs> Bit me. <laughs> All right, let's go. Um. Make sure you tell David you're just joking around. We like Canadian money. Oh, David, yeah, I'm just joking. I'm a smart ass. Yeah. You're you you're very appreciated. Thank you very much. Lindsay? Okay. okay. Ready, everyone? I heard Connor moving around above me. No. I heard I heard noise. Uh-uh. Unless it's Olivia going Am to the I too loud, maybe? You I mean, I think you're fine. You're but... right above his bedroom. Yeah, usually it's not a problem. We'll see. He'll come down here pissed. Uh-oh. All right, let's keep going. Okay. Who played Willy Wonka in the 2005 remake of Charlie in the Chocolate Factory? It's, um, oh my God, I forgot his name. Johnny Depp. Yes. Oh no, somebody is up. Uh-oh. Just keep going. What is the name of Rachel Lee Cook's character in She's All That? Who knows that? Rachel Lee Cook's character, Karen? Karen? Melissa? Jennifer? Carrie? Megan? Molly? Susan? Hey. I can go until someone else fixes it. You got to tell me if I'm right, though. You're not right. Lisa? Matt got it. He didn't know that. He looked it up. He did not. There's no way he knew that. There's no way he knew that. Lena Bags. Lena Boggs? Someone's broken into our house, and, like through the upstairs, through the upstairs, and then oh, came down. Like, what if it's a monster coming in? It's very possible it's a monster. Our kids get up and go to the bathroom at night. It's un- it's not uncommon. Um, name the second movie in the Kingsman series. The Golden Circle. No. Oh yes. <laughs> <laughs> You didn't wait five seconds. Oh, for Christ's sakes. Okay, I'll, I'll wait. I'll wait three seconds. Matt said he did. 
I, I believe him. He would know that. In the movie E.T., what was the first Elliot. name of the boy who befriended the alien visitor? Five seconds. Elliot. Elliot. It's Elliot. Yep. Who wrote and directed Pan's Labyrinth? Guillermo del Toro. Which action movie stars Nicolas Cage, Steve Buscemi, and John Malkovich? Nicolas Cage, Steve Buscemi, and John Malkovich? Oh my god, the logistics. I should I don't know this. Gone, it's not gone in 60 seconds, is it? Mm -hmm. Oh no, no, no. It's it's um oh my god, it's Conair. We need to show our kids. Oh, shit. So, they got it before Carbonite me. People had it. it. Yeah. Carbonite oh, God. Come on here. That's a disappointment. I, I mean, know. What the heck? I know. I just, uh, I, 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 I blinked. I blinked. Okay. What eight film, to, what eight film Tom Cruise franchise started out in the 90s? Mission Impossible. Yes. We need to wait five seconds. I waited long enough. Everybody knows that one. There's chairs all over. The cha you want this chair? I'm in my chair. You want this chair? Okay. Um, which movie is set on the distant moon of Pandora? There's 10 seconds. Ten seconds? Five seconds. It's Avatar. Oh, what? Are you? Oh, yeah. Yes. Wait. You okay? Yeah. <laughs> there is a ghost in here. I'm like legit. There's the, yeah, there's a ghost. I don't like kids when they creep around. Okay. Um, what Leanne Rhymes song featured on the soundtrack of Coyote Ugly? Can't fight the moonlight? Yes, but you're not waiting five seconds. That, I counted in my head five seconds. Did you? No one else knows this stupid trivia than I. Like, no one's going to know that but me. Can't fight the moon, not me, 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 me. Go on. Whitney Houston's I Will Always Love You featured on the soundtrack for which 1992 movie? The Bodyguard. I, I counted a five in my head. Okay. I promise. We need to watch Conair, by the way. Conair's great, yeah. Um, in Groundhog Day, which song plays on the radio every morning? I've got you, babe. Yep. You're beating them. Am I giving you guys enough time? Or should I wait like a second longer? Because they have to type it, you know? Some of these people have arthritis and can't type early. Oh. Okay. You beat Matt. <laughs> <laughs> Which actress played in the school principal in School of Rock? I'm sorry. Which actress played the school principal in School of Rock? Um. Oh, God. It's a... Uh, fuck, 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 fuck. Um... What's her name? Joan Cusack. Yep. Bubba says I'm... Oh, you beat him! Bubba says I'm getting smoked in chat. I don't know if he's just joking or if I'm getting the chat later than it's actually showing up on YouTube. Because I'm not looking on YouTube. I'm looking in StreamYard. I'm looking on the phone. He might just be in a little... He's being a little bitch, probably. Okay, keep going. He's mad that he's not yeah, he's, he's just not doing well. That's Name the, the first Pirate of the Caribbean movie. Let's get... Dead Man's Chest? No. Black Pearl. Curse of the Black Pearl. Yeah. Whew. Skeet -de 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 I gave them time when I said it wrong the first time. Okay. What singer starred alongside the Jonas Brothers in the 2008 Disney film Camp Rock? I sadly know this. Two Mississippi, three Mississippi. 
Demi Lovato. Is that right? Yeah. That's such a sad thing to know. What a sad thing to know. <laughs> Dolly Parton. <laughs> Doll Dolly's in all these movies. Okay. Are we done? What do you mean are we done? Oh no, I mean like you're sitting. Oh, I'm done. Yeah, I'm done. Thanks. Which Disney movie contains the line, some people are worth melting? Oh, barf. Aww. And it was your Olaf it was Frozen. Your biggest um, oh, movie. Olaf Frozen. <laughs> I love warm hugs, man. Frosty. Frosty. It's Olaf. Oh, yeah, Frosty. Yeah, Frosty doesn't like warm hugs. Rocky the Rooster and Ginger the Chicken are characters in which animation? I brought this up earlier, accidentally. It's Chicken Run. <clears throat> I waited five seconds when I said that I brought this up earlier. I brought this up earlier. Pause. You're going to think that there's like a glitch when you repeat yourself. Which prestigious academic institution did Reese Witherspoon's character attend in Legally Blonde? One Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi, four Mississippi, Harvard. Yeah. I was kind of on the fence. It was either Harvard or Yale, but okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The Hangover is set in which U.S. city? Las Vegas? Yep. Nevada? Going on, chat. Las wow, Vegas? They're coming. They're just a little. No, like well, you. You know what? They're probably all typing at the entering at the same time. Mm, I don't think so. No. Oh. Homie, don't play that. Wow. For which action packed 2017 movie did the director select the soundtrack before writing the script? <gasps> what year? For which I know that I, I know 2017 it. movie Baby Driver. Mm. If that's Edgar Wrong, I don't want to be Edgar Wright. Got to go to that's the that's the director. No. Does David have to go? Guardians of the Galaxy oh. 2. <laughs> Got to go. Huh. <laughs> okay. Which two actors wrote Good Will Hunting? Oh my God, it's easy. Think I already know. Don't tell me. I know it. Matt Damon and Ben Affleck. See, I had to jump in because you were trying to give hints. I was giving hints to your chat. They don't need it. They. Everybody knows that. Everybody knows it's that. Matt Damon and Ben Affleck I, people. They said that. No, your chat is right. They're trying to go fast, so they said Damon Affleck. They're trying to shorthand it. Then they need to team up. Somebody needs to say. No, <laughs> <laughs> Someone says Ben, and the other says yeah. Someone says Ben. Someone says Matt. Ben. All right. Matt Fleck. <laughs> <laughs> um, who directed the 2019 remake of Charlie's? Angels. Who directed it? I know this. You've got to wait five seconds. Let's see, three Mississippi, four Mississippi. Five. Isn't it like Mick G? Oh, no. Oh, wait, 2005? Oh, it's Elizabeth Banks. It was 2010. I'm sorry, Elizabeth Banks. It's Elizabeth Banks. Yes, but it's 2019. Whatever. Who gives a shit? It's Elizabeth Banks. Uh, Someone might have beat me because I screwed up, but, but Mick G, I think, is the name of the director that did the... Um, the two Charlie's Angels movies that came out in the 2000s. David won. No, I, I, I'm pretty sure I still I got it. I heard David say it before you said that. You heard him? I saw it. Come in. You heard him? He's talking to me in my ear. <laughs> <laughs> what newspaper did Peter Parker work for in Spider-Man? Daily Bugle? Yep. Okay. Fuck. I don't know. Daily Bugle. Bugle Boys, Bugle. Daily, Daily Planet, Bugle. from Superman. You didn't pronounce it right. It's Daily Bugle. It's Daily Bugle. No, Daily Buckle. <laughs> by by bipolar, by Bugle, by Bigel. Okay, ready? Yeah. What is Jennifer Grey's character carrying when she first speaks to Johnny in Dirty Dancing? You guys just watch this stupid movie. Nobody it's a watermelon. It's a watermelon. Nobody 
That was spot on. It's it's like he was here. I know. <laughs> okay. When was the first movie in the Twilight series released? Um. Uh, hang on. Hang on. Twilight. Hang on. Two thousand. Think Bella. Two thousand two. No. 2004. Think Edward. 2004. Think. Oh, Johnny got it. With what? Look at the chat. You gotta find it. Look at this. Stuff. 2008. I was way off. Look at the chat. Well, Kevin said 2004 as well. We got 2005. They're all over the place. It's 2008. Johnny okay, won. great. 2008. Johnny won. Freaking A. Okay, someone, uh, even a blind squirrel finds a nut. Johnny. Got it. Are you done? <laughs> Nobody puts baby in the corner. Okay. In the movie of the same... Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. In the movie of the same name, who plays the greatest showman? <laughs> who plays the greatest showman? <laughs> Hugh Jackman. Yes. Who plays the greatest show person? Do the how, many, do. how many are left? With your hand. One. Eight, nine, nine. Nine. Nine more. People, you didn't do the Wolverine. Nine. Oh, the, the claws. Nine more. I'm willing to continue. If you guys want a super chat additional, my wife is willing to continue. She doesn't work, so. <laughs> Why? <laughs> she homeschools her children and makes sure that I shower daily. That's a full time. That's a full time job by itself. Which 1994 film had the tagline "Fear can own can"? Sorry. Which 1994 film had the tagline? Think 1994. Can you read the question? Fear can hold you prisoner. Hope can set you free. 2009. Oh my God! I said think 1994. Oh. Is this Shawshank Redemption? Ugh, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Yum, 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 I'm yum. a little disappointed the chat didn't get that faster. Well, you stumbled over 14 times in the year 2000. Oh, think no, 1990. Said, no, no, no. In 1994, no. think 1997. I... Think prison movie with the tall drink of water. All right, keep going. Teenagers Will, Jay, Neil, and Simon go on a lad's holiday to Malia in which 2011 movie? What? <laughs> what did you just yep. say? Yep. Morgan Freeman is hot. <gasps> I did not, Bubba. Yeah, you okay. screwed the pooch. No. I didn't I didn't hear what the hell you said. Ah, Johnny got it. In betweeners. Okay, great. Didn't understand half of what was said. By the way, we need a new moderator. Johnny, Johnny, you says deep cut on that. Okay. We need a new moderator. Are we down to five left? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, seven left. No super chats have come in, so I'm gonna just assume these are the last seven. Okay. David keep going. Foley featured in a fashion walk-off scene in which 2001 comedy film? It's a walk-off. It's a walk off. Zoolander. You didn't wait five seconds. I did too, because everybody. Here's the other thing. Oh. It's a bit unfair for me to have to wait for you to finish the entire question because as soon as you said David Bowie fashion, I already knew it was Zoolander. So these guys aren't stupid, okay? These are smart people. They're they're understanding the answer before it's finished. Go on. Go on. In which animated movie sequel would you find the character Forky? Not Sporky. Oh my Forky. God. It's Toy Story 4. Think Fork. <laughs> Kevin, I believe I may be of service. Just dance. I love that, man. Zoolander's so good. Which Star Wars movie was released in 2005? Not one. <laughs> five. <laughs> Uh, that would be Star Wars Episode One? Question mark? Is it Star Wars Episode One? No. Doug got it. It's Revenge of the so Shit. Oh, it's Revenge of the Shit. Robbie and Doug got it. Revenge of the Shit. Okay, yeah. All right. David Shellacker's back, baby. One more. This has been awesome and lots of fun. I agree, David. We'll do this more often. 
don't you do this a long time ago, remember? Shut it. <sighs> David Schlacker for two dollars. So that gets him another okay, that I, gets him five this more. Is perfect. So that gets him five more. I actually don't know how I was Well, we have fifteen other movie trivia games oh God, if yeah. we need to to oh, tap into them. Matt more. gave us Matt gave us a thousand. Ten more questions okay, for Shanley eighty eight. So we need to do fifteen questions. Okay, give me that movie. I don't want to be seen with um, I'm in the gym this movie trivia. Okay, which studio Ghibli? These are Matt's cards, so he'll probably know all of these damn things. Okay. Oh Matt. Probably has everything memorized. <laughs> that's what memorize. Uh, that's what movie trivia is. Memorizing. These ones, quick. Yeah, get through the baby ones, and then we'll go to the then we'll go to the adult, the adult cards. Well, then you can go through your super chats and say thank you. Okay. Yeah. By the way, shout out to Matt Sclero. Last time he came over, he brought me. You can see him on camera over there, right here. Except for this one, Made Up Movies, which is kind of a weird game that I got for free from the company that made it. It's it's bizarre. It's hard to play. Uh, but the other ones Matt brought over one day, and this is actually a nice a nice time to do them. We can do them on on stream. Ooh, these are good. I like this. Okay, let's okay, let's keep going. Yep. Okay, I have four more to finish in this one. Okay. Um, which Studio Ghibli film is adapted from Diana Wynne Jones's book of the same name? Yikes. Is it Kiki's Delivery Service? No. Is it's, it one that we know? Oh yeah, it's a good one. Spirited Away, Troy McClure says. No, it's not Spirited Away. Uh, Princess Mononoke. Nope. Howl's Moving Castle. Yep. Howl's Moving Castle. Got it. First try. <laughs> Dolly Parton, nine to five. You didn't see my neighbor's tortorola. Uh, I fell asleep during it. Which superhero movie is set in the fictional nation of Wakanda? <laughs> Black Panther. Yes. Wakanda forever. We're going to um, go to this next set of trivia. It's going to be just a disaster. The UK's pretty, huh? Prince William and Prince Harry played which roles in the 2017 movie Star Wars The Last Jedi? Who knew? I knew. They are stormtroopers. Really? There's a lot of actors that play ran like fans of the movies that just play random. Uh Daniel Craig is a stormtrooper in one of them as well. James oh, Bond himself. Like the got to go be a stormtrooper. Yep, because you don't see him. I mean, so it's just fun little Easter egg for them. And uh, in one of the Hobbit movies, what's his name? The late night show host. Yeah. The nerdy one that we really like. Conan? No, no. He's like he's got glasses. He's the more like political him. one. Like Stephen Colbert. He plays a background elf or hobbit or something like a in one of the Hobbit movies. Okay. Sorry. Best friends Harry Dune, Dunn, and Lloyd Christmas yes. travel to Aspen, Colorado in which mm -hmm. movie? That would be one of my favorite comedies of all time, Dumb and Dumber. I kind of slow rolled the answer because I knew people would, would get it faster because of the names. Dumb. Dumb. <laughs> in the Shrek movies, what type of creature is Donkey's wife? She is a dragon. 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 Merman. Merman. Who played James Bond in Golden Eye? Skin de ding 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 Pierce Brosnan is James Bond in that. Pierce Brosnan. What? Yeah. Um. I know, David. I had always wondered that too, and it bothers me. Focus on this okay. conversation, not what the <laughs> chat's randomly spouting off about. All right. Who starred alongside Owen Wilson in Wedding Crashers? Vince Vaughn. Yep. I I worded it like a question, but I knew one thousand percent. The character Lightning McQueen features in which animated movies? This is child's play, folks. Here in my cars, da, 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 in cars, bum bum, pick, sorry. Okay, 
Last one, and then we'll go to the super chats, and I'll count them again. What is the name of Caddy's school in Mean Girls? Katie's. What is the name of Katie's school in Mean Girls? Uh, there's no way. There's no way anybody knows this. By the way, I'm seeing the new crappy Mean Girls tomorrow. It looks like Crap Factory. That's why I call it crappy. Maybe it'll be good. I'm guessing it won't. I don't know the name of the school. It's not Harvard. <laughs> Bitch, I. <laughs> I think it is something high though, right? Like like uh like a seaside high or something. What's the opposite of south? North. Okay, what's another word for waves? Or no, I'm sorry. Okay, what? It's north. <laughs> north shore high? Yeah. Let's go. Sky high. All right, how many more do I need to do in the newest super chats? Uh, yes, Matt. I would like to do a Mean Girls Beekeeper double feature. Uh, that's right. Uh, Lindsay, there's actually two movies to see tomorrow night. Okay, but you can't go to stupid daughter Olivia is in a stupid Ooh. sport, so I have to stupid take her because well, my my wife doesn't go out in public. Well, no, I know, know we only have one vehicle right now because we're just a poor poor family. Okay. Uh, there is a Mean Girls at seven. You can't go to that's the one I am going to. No, I can go to. The... Oh wait. Mean Girls is at 8.30. Yeah, you're going to 8.25. And there's a beekeeper at... <sighs> there's a 2 o'clock beekeeper showing. Could I could go to the 2 o'clock. You have, you have to fix the road. Want to kill time. myself because it's going to be trash. That'll get done at 4.30. Get home at 5. Olivia's volleyball at 5.30, right? No, 5. She has it at 5? Mm -hmm. It's an hour 45 long movie and there's always a half hour of trailers 2 30 3 30 4 30 <sighs> it, that would probably work okay. okay well we're gonna we'll tentatively plan on that okay go ahead okay um okay how many more do i need to read on the newest super jacks bubba says zero uh you have to read uh, 15 more. Okay. All right. In what movie does Dustin Hoffman play a man playing a woman? You're playing a dude, playing another dude disguised as another dude. Uh, Dustin Hoffman's playing a, a woman? Yep. Oh, shit. That's, um, oh my God. 80s movie. Troy got it. Troy got Tootsie. It. Yep, it's Tootsie. Someone said Doubtfire. <laughs> That's Robin Williams. Yeah, Tootsie, in I knew what, that. Are you ready? Yeah. In what movie do Annette Benning and Julianne Moore play a lesbian couple? Hot? Didn't know. Hot? Uh, oh, yeah. Is that Boogie Nights? No. Damn it. Holes? <laughs> Holes. Oh my god. Oh. I think I know this movie, but I don't remember it. I don't think I've ever seen it. Annette Benning and Julianne Moore. It's yeah. some artsy fucking indie bullshit no it isn't yeah it is, no, it is. yeah yeah nobody's answering it right away what is it we have anything that you can like hint about it have i seen it opposite of children being naughty Thelma and Louise. opposite of children being naughty men being good Ugh. girls the kids are all right that's it's called the kids are all right. Yeah. That was the worst hint ever. <laughs> Opposite of children being naughty, the kids are all right. Kids are still children. I know. So I just got rid of kids. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! What? I did. It was terrible. I liked it. Okay. okay. Tommy Lee Jones won a Best Supporting Actor Oscar for his portrayal of Marshall Samuel Gerard in what movie? Um, Tommy Lee Jones won a fugitive? Best Supporting Actor. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <sighs> hmm. Who plays the artificial life form in Alien? Who plays the art? What do you mean? Who plays? Who plays the artificial life form in Alien? Oh shit! Like the robot dude. Oh god! I don't know his name. Do I need to know the actor name or the character? Uh, 
Carbonite Dreams got it. Ian Holmes? Yeah. I should have just said both, but I forgot his name. Carbonite Dreams? Fassbender. He's going with the shitty, yeah, not the shitty Michael Fassbender Alien Covenant or Prometheus. They're talking about the old school one. Okay. Okay. Um, I always forget the name Ian Holmes. Okay. What war is going on in Gone with the Wind? <sighs> That's like, oh, uh, God. I don't know. C Civil War? Civil War? No. I don't... Oh, yeah. Yes, the Civil War. Sorry. <laughs> What's going on? Are you sleeping over there? Are you texting? I was reading the next one. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> the Cold Wars, the, the format wars between HD, DVD, and Blu-ray. Ooh, here's a good one. Yeah. Who plays Catwoman in The Dark Knight Rises? Yes, Anne it's Hathaway good. It's Anne Hathaway. Hathaway. It's Anne Hathaway. You're supposed to guess those are the two. Got to get the cat. Five seconds. Because you were reading off answers. Oh, Everybody knows that. Oh, this card tells me to give clues. Once Upon a Time in Hollywood features what actor playing a washed up Hollywood veteran named Rick Dalton? That is your boy, isn't it? Brad Pitt? Yeah. Oh no, another boy. Leonardo DiCaprio? Mm -hmm. uh, I, I forgot most of that movie. I wasn't a big fan of that one. It's probably my least favorite Quentin Tarantino movie. I'd say that's just better than Death Proof, which I don't like at all. <laughs> okay, what form does Gozer take in Ivan Reitman's Ghostbusters? Ivan Reitman. Ooh. You got Gozer right, which I'm impressed with. What form does he take? The Stay yeah. Puft Marshmallow Man. Yes, it is. I would turn gay for Brad Pitt. <laughs> yeah, we all would. That's awesome. Me too. In what movie does a garbage collecting robot fall in love with a you were supposed to wait, Adam. Sorry. A garbage collecting robot named Wally falls in love with No, you Eva. just said Wally. Yeah, I already said it. What film sees the recruitment of Gary Eggsy Unwin into a secret spy organization? The Kingsman. That was five seconds. Um, which one? The Kingsman, the first one. Full title. This, the Kingsman, this, the Secret Service or something. Yeah. Okay. David got it. No, we <laughs> <laughs> Spy Hard. Nice, Rob. With uh, Liam Neeson. Uh, Liam. Oh my God, I forgot his name. <sighs> the hell's the name of? He's dead. It is Liam Neeson, right? Yeah. No, Liam Neeson is the. Sorry, I'm off on a tangent. Okay. Ready? Yeah. What boxer owns the tiger in The Hangover? Uh, Mike Tyson. Yep. It is Leslie Nielsen. Leslie Nielsen. What was I saying? Liam Neeson? Yeah, Leslie Nielsen. Thank you, Kevin. There's a movie called Spy Hard with Leslie Nielsen. It's one of those parody films. I like all of his parody stuff. Okay, everybody. True or false? Michael Myers' mask in Halloween is based on Bill Paxton's face. True. Oh, they can add true and false are good because they can actually answer this one with the, uh, and we can wait a little bit. Sking, ding, 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 sking, beam. Matt said no, so he's out because it's a true or false, not a no or a nope. You can't say that. It's true or false, you bastards. All right. Johnny, you got it. What do you mean, Johnny, you got it? Other people Johnny, you got it. False? false? Who is it based on? Johnny, you got it. But who is the mask based on? Johnny, thought... you got it. He just said false. It's... Oh, William Shatner. There it is. Oh, I knew it was. God, you're such a shithead. I knew it was based <laughs> on someone's face. I want to take his face off. Lindsay. Name that movie. Name that movie, Lindsay. Face off. Yeah. What actor says you can't handle the truth and in what movie? You can't handle the truth! That is Jack Nicholson in A Few Good Men. He was a few good men in that movie. 
<laughs> Where are we? Who plays Achilles in Troy? Achilles. I say Achilles. Achilles? That's your boy, Brad Pitt. I know it's my boy. Yep. Achilles. Achilles. He's bipolar. Or no, what was the word you said before? Achilles. Biopic. Bio the 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 bi the bi biopic. It's biopic. The bionic man. What did I say? Biopic. Yeah, biopic. It's I biopic. Know. Whatever. You don't even know what the hell what to say. It's a biographical it. picture. Is what it stands for. Biopic. Yes, biopic. Biopic. <laughs> you can't even say your own screw up. Neither can you. We're done. What film sees Joker and Pyle suffering under abusive drill instructor Gunnery Sergeant Hartman? Gunnery. Gunnery Sergeant Hartman. What? What film sees Joker and Pyle suffering under abusive oh, drill God. instructor? Oh, God. Full Metal Jacket. Troy got it before you. Hate to say it. Well, I didn't understand the freaking question. Any like Joker from the Dark Knight or some shit? Okay. Well, you should have known the person. Yeah. See, Kevin says she's speaking in tongues. See, the, your phrasing was terrible. My phrasing. Yeah, it just wasn't. It wasn't read well. Who says I'm reading in tongues? Kevin, and she's right. Who's Kevin? That I could have easily got that one, but it was taken from me because of poor reading. Who plays Luke in Cool Hand Luke? Paul Newman, Kurt Russell, or Mel Gibson? Wait. This is stupid. Wait, what? I know. They're giving me something to choose from. This is Wait, Say it again. Kurt Russell? Who plays Luke in Cool Hand Luke? I didn't think it was any of those guys. Is it Kurt Russell? Troy got it. Can you just tell me? Why do I have to it's go? It's Paul Newman. Oh, Paul Newman. He said, pa no. He said, he said, he said, Pop, Pop Newman. He's wrong. It's Paul Newman. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. The word you're looking for was the moops. Crown Prince of Zamunda in Coming to America. Oh God, I uh, James Earl Jones. What? No. The Crown Prince, Eddie Murphy. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I did. I didn't register what you said. Prince King. Oh God. Um. Who is Don Vito Corleone's father in The Godfather Part 2? Um, shit. I don't know his name. Think old actor. I know he's an old actor. I don't remember his name right now. It's not coming to me. Think Godfather. Oh my god, I know The Godfather. But it's not... It's the sequel. So it's like a prequel to the first one. It's De Niro. Oh. Brando, Marlon Brando. No. I don't fucking know. I Antonio forgot. Antonio Andolini. What? Oh, they want the character name, not the actor name. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I I, I forgot the I forgot the act the character name. Whatever. Okay. It's De Niro though. So I get that. Nope, I get that nope, point. That's not what the card says. I get that point. That's not what the card says. What '80s movie sees Jeff Bridges being abducted into the digital world of computer games? <laughs> Tron. Yes. I can't do the laser light sound effect. Okay. In Finding Nemo, what is the shark's motto? Or motto? <laughs> Fish are friends, not food. That's correct. Um, how many more? Wait, how many more do we have? Oh, um, I'm keeping track. Are you not keeping track? 15. How many am I doing? Did you? Are you not keeping track? Yeah, I've got little tellies. See? Well, how many are you, have you done? I have 15 so far. How many that was how many you were supposed to do. Oh. Okay, we are officially done unless another super chat comes in egging us on more. 
uh, I mean, it has to be like it's got to be it's got to be a decent super chat. Otherwise, you know, we're gonna have to call it a day. I'm sorry, it's such an unceremonious end. My wife wasn't keeping track. I was. I had to, I it's her first know. night on the job. Um, Bubba's happy to be done with this thing. He's he said this is ridiculous. It's gotten out of hand. <gasps> It's 11 o'clock for him over there. This this, new moderator anyway. this 27 minute stream ended up going two hours and 19 minutes. <laughs> this was a 27 minute topic stream that went well over time than I usually go. So thank you guys for the super chats. This thank was you. actually a ton of fun. Shout out to my wife for coming up with the suggestion. You're welcome. Okay. <laughs> We'll be back on Saturday night, probably, for a five, maybe for just we'll do another game night. Who knows, Lindsay? I thought this was all right, huh? Now you're now. Oh, now she's now she's silent. Now she's completely silent. Yes, this was fun. I'll make it more fun. I don't know what that means, but okay. Thank you guys for watching. We will see you soon. Take care. Bye. Thanks for watching. If you made it all the way to the end of this, that was a ride. That was a fun time. Uh, you can also find this. It will be up on Spotify. I have the podcast up there. It's just Adam Does Movies on Spotify and Apple Podcasts and Google. It's in all of the platforms. Uh, I put these up usually a day later, a couple days later, whenever I can get to it. So it's just another way to digest the content if you want to. It's up to you. If you really like what I'm doing and you want to support the channel, my one-man operation, please join Patreon at patreon.com slash adamdoesmovies. Or you can be a member right here via YouTube. There's a join button. You just hit that thing and you can give a dollar a month, five bucks a month. And with each tier, there are different offerings. There are different perks that I try to hit. Uh, sometimes I don't, but I do my best uh, be because again, I have a full-time job. This is a hobby, a passion project and whatnot. And we're just trying to make it work. All right. Thank you very much. And hopefully I see you next time.